Happy Monday. It's the last Monday of this school year, but we're still excited about learning with you this week. As we're standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, let's go ahead and do our uniform check. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now, for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. That sound means it's time for Can You Guess? So we're going to do another Can You Guess just like last week. So once again, it's Where's the Elf? And remember, there's going to be 10 elves hidden and one Santa Claus. So here's the picture this week. See if you can find them. Um, But once again, your teacher might not give you that much time. I've got that picture at the end of the announcements. So if you don't find them right now, it's not a problem. They'll be at the end of the announcements. Oh, but I see one right now hidden in the Christmas tree. So there's a hint for one of them. Ten elves, one Santa Claus. Oh, I see Santa Claus too. All right. And here is our video of the week. There's a company that is throwing objects into space. By spinning really fast, they can throw objects over really far distances. This is not science fiction. They are still doing what? tests, but they will be completing full missions to space in about three years. All the way into space? That is crazy. This artist can draw eight portraits at the same time. She's not really drawing those with her feet, is she? It looks like she. No! She draws way better with her feet than I do with my hands. And she's doing eight at the same time? Merk, left handed, left handed anger, left handed anger. Left handed anger. <laughs> When you get mad, you have to do stuff with your opposite hand. (laughs) Oh, that's probably my favorite one. Those other two were amazing, but left-handed anger. I'm going to try that in the next few days. Left-handed anger. (laughs) That is hilarious. All right. Oh, speaking of something that I think is going to be funny, Mr. Brunk. So remember, I was saying we're going to have him dress up, and that's going to be when we get back from the new year because Miss Wendy is going to have him dress up Later in this year, probably this week. So you'll see that this week. So we'll use the one that we're voting on next year. So sometime in January or February, probably. So I was like, oh, we could do one of these things. But tell me what you're thinking. And I thought I'd get like three or four ideas. Listen, y'all showed up big time. Here's what y'all have come up with so far. Ballerina dress, long eyelashes, Santa costume, dinosaur, perp. Purple hat, dress, purple wig, hair bow, fake beard, princess crown, tie on his head, falcon costume, red wig, tutu, donut costume, purple pants, clown, pink dress, pink wig, necklace, boss baby, boss baby, silly costume, glasses on backwards, an OU outfit, chicken outfit, earrings, mustache, purple hair, tie on backwards, and someone said, put him in a bubble wrap outfit. That is awesome. So that's 30 ideas already, and since we're not doing it yet, we still have time for more ideas. So send those to me, put them in a bubble Get those ideas to me somehow so we have even more ideas to dress up Mr. Brunk. You can see this is a picture of someone's principal that dressed up. I guess they had him dress up as Elf in the Shelf, and they're in the little display cabinet. So that's a good one. All right. Um, What is coming this week? That's a great question. Let's find out. (gasps) We've got the Christmas sing-along. And guess what? Our very own Mr. Maples will be back to lead it, and I am so excited, and we have another possible guest visitor. You might see, if you're looking carefully enough, the 
Grinch. <gasps> if you're looking this year, you might see the Grinch show up for the Christmas sing-along. So keep your eyes open to see if he shows up. Last time I told you we were going to race against Mr. Bergen, but he was out for part of the week and then I was out for part of the week and everything got all messed up. But I have someone for you in the Google Drive right now that you can race against. It's not Mr. Bergen. Right now, if you already raced Miss Neal, now you can race against Miss Hermance. Bum, bum, bum. You know why she's smiling. That's right. The same reason that Mr. Bergen was smiling. She has just raised some children and she is very excited about beating them in multiplication and addition. And then she took their stuffed animals from them. And she's really happy about that. I'm just kidding. Those are my stuffed animals. But she's real excited about racing you. Look, she... I was a little surprised how fast she is at her multiplication. I, it was intimidating. She was super fast. So if you're going to multiply against her, good luck because she was fast. Her addition, if you're racing an addition, she hasn't been practicing as much. So you might get her in that. But either way, I challenge you to race against her and see if you can beat her. They're in the Google Drive right now. Your teacher has access to her. You can race against her or Miss Neal. And coming in the future, we'll race against Mr. Bergen. All right, now it's time for our joke of the week. Why does 10 plus 10 equal 11 plus 11? I don't know. Why? Because 10 plus 10 is 20 and 11 plus 11 is 22. 20. Oh, 22. 10 plus 10 is 20. <laughs> 11 plus 11 is 20. Also 22. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you so much for sharing that. All right. Y'all be kind. Work hard. Do something nice for someone and have a great Christmas break next week. And as promised, here is the picture. Good luck. <laughs>